the basement with... I'm Danish. This is O'Neal. Yeah. It's our summer episode. How's your summer been? Uh, not great. Yeah. Yeah. I could tell. Yeah. Still got a lawsuit going, so I uh, can't really talk about All it. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, what do you say we dive right in? Yeah. I got something to little cheer you up, I think. Okay. Let's head to... Uh, where is this? Is this Italy, we think? Uh, no, I think the guy's Italian. I think this is America, maybe. This is America? Maybe. All right. I think so. All right. Well, let's go to it. Look at Demo! Look at Demo! Look, look, oral sex! Oral sex, Demo! You see oral sex! Look, oral sex! Look, 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 look! I see you, the demon. You oral sex! You see oral sex! Let that sperm of that man out! Ah! Oh, pause, oh. Pause, 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 ah, pause. You oh, Demo! Pause. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that she left the sperm in her mouth from that demon the whole time? He seems to think that. I don't know. Who wants someone pointing at them yelling oral sex, oral sex? <laughs> As if that's not bad enough, then oral sex demon. Yeah, I'm going to say it's not a good day for this lady. She's like, I didn't know I was blowing a demon earlier. Look, look at the lady in the back with the glasses looking over him. She's judging this lady. She's judging. She's like, oh, I this lady. That lady's like, I sucked a demon dick 40 years ago. Look at the lady next to her. It was like, yeah, like, get it out of there. Spit it out. <laughs> get that semen out. Oh, and he's, okay, let's see where he goes after she spits this Dude, out. Timo! Ow! Oh, Lady, oh, let's go, let go, let go, let go! You delivered me two Sundays back, then a demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth. Whoa. And, and then he tried, he came again and he slept with me last week and I, I told Wait, him... Wait, pause for a second. <laughs> Why would you answer the door the second time the demon shows up? The demon's that tricky. <laughs> First time, he's just like, hey, I'm a demon, you let him in. Second time, he's like, hey, pizza delivery, and you're like, oh, okay. Oh. I, think, I think he showed up the second time and she's like, you better not put that penis in my <laughs> mouth. He's like, don't worry, I'm not going to. <laughs> and then he put it in the vagina. This sets a bad precedent because... You, anyone could be like, oh, I, like, I saw that guy you hooked up with. Like, that, was, that was a demon. Oh, yeah. That wasn't a, that was a demon. <laughs> it's like, well, I have the church for you. <laughs> that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. It's been itching. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Speak. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Look at that okay, pause for a second. <laughs> pause for a second. <laughs> I love the guy whose job is to hold this woman while she goes through these uh, histrionics. Hold that demon right there. Uh, why did he hit her? Oh, why not? <laughs> and this demon's crafty enough to work his way into this lady's bed. Uh, why, why would he answer this guy? When you hit the head, it may be trying to force the demon out of the ass. Oh, okay. So it's like it's not coming out of the mouth. He's tried that. It's a... <laughs> I like his questioning. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> well, everybody knows it's like an undercover cop. You have, if they ask you if you're a demon, you got to say yes. <laughs> I'm waiting for the rest of the crowd to do a hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> <laughs> it just turns into a music video? <laughs> yeah, response. The two people behind him look like they don't want, they're like, I just thought this was a regular church. Yeah. <laughs> You mean the lady wearing like the rainbow sweater? And there's a lady wearing gloves right there that she is. Well, she like... she might be having to pull the demon out of the ass. <laughs> yeah. Definitely want to wear gloves for that. Look at that freeze frame, and she's like, ah! Dude, the demon's scared. He's been exposed. Yeah, the demon's running, but this guy's going to make sure the demon's going to stay yeah. and face this man's question. Also, I think the demon is like, oh, fuck, this guy's calling out my game. Yeah. Like, he's like, no women are going to fall for this in this church anymore. <laughs> Let's see where it goes from here. Who knows what's going to happen? Look at that demon! Look at that demon! Look at that demon! Look at that demo. Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Speak out. Who are you? Who are you? He's dead. Oh no. There's a guy in the background just eating donuts. You demo can help you. Over from the church. Oh! oh. <laughs> Kicked a vagina. Ah! Jesus. Come up from the private party. Right, pause it for a second. <laughs> If there's ever been a PSA not to fuck, it is this. this. If you think that this could possibly happen to you. Look at the back wall. It's all the people he's healed from like walking helmets. It's all their canes. There's a wheelchair in the back on the wall. Is that because the demon fucked the lady so hard she couldn't walk? The demon broke your legs. Who are you? Does this guy only do demon ex like uh, sexual demon exercises? He also does bar mitzvahs. Oh, okay, weekend. okay. Yeah, he does weddings too. Who are you? Who are you? You're married. 
first I thought those were like saws in the back, like some medieval torture. <laughs> He's going to saw the demon out of your stomach? I will get it out. <laughs> if I have to go in there with my own penis and lure him out. He kicked her in the vagina and it knocked her down. Yeah, of course. Everybody knows that that's the demon's uh, Achilles heel, the kick in the vagina. This woman's a hell of a performer. Yeah, where do you think that he got her? That's uh, an aerobic studio. She's doing foot fire. She's moving around. She's... <laughs> she could have been like a Tina Turner's backup dancer. <laughs> she does look like Tina Turner. All, All right, right, let's see this man interrogate going. and berate this woman again. Let's see if he can ah! get rid of it. Ah! You, you in her <laughs> private part. Demon in the private part. Oh, he sprayed. Watch out. what happens. Spray it out. <laughs> Wait, pause it. Wait. <laughs> She had to take the scarf off because it wasn't affecting it. Yeah. I've done that on dates before. Have you ever <laughs> sprayed somebody down? Spray Febreze on it? Yeah, just other stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, like, I've uh, never... Like, I can't believe it's not butter over the pants. <laughs> I've done it, yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? This lady in the back is ready to clap. She's like, oh, yeah, great spray job. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, that, you're, that's holy water, I take it. I would think, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it <laughs> works. It's got... <laughs> oh, she's Come melting. On, Come on, Come on, Come on! Whoa! Go! 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 Oh, he threw it to his Oh, knock it. Oh, 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 whoa! Whoa! Oh, she's down. Pause it for a second. That was like a guy bowling, the way he like went to made yeah. the pins, like a whoa. I love though that he had like a his guy that he goes with all the time. He just threw the holy water, guy grabbed it out of the air. <laughs> Is like, it me? Like, I know where this is going. Or he, does he look kind of like Obama from the side? You think this is what Obama's doing with his free time? It's like Obama meets Pitbull. <laughs> Maybe that's how he hails his church. <laughs> it looks uh, like it says Jesus is hard behind him, but I don't think that's what it says. <laughs> Maybe the water is Lord. Maybe the water is just cold. We don't know what that water was. Is that a keyboardist behind them, or is that like their sound man? Oh, yeah. You think they have a big organ player <laughs> for the exorcisms? Now they sit down and like, let's talk about what we just did together. How I punched you in the head five times. Yeah, right, let's let's uh, go back to the video. Oh, come on, somebody. After I spray with the water, after I spray, something came out white. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. <laughs> after I sprayed. Something came out white. So he goes, all right, I'll go to the bathroom. And the demon's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going down the toilet. I'm going to infect somebody else. I mean, it sounds like, it sounds like he's talking about a sexual experience. <laughs> he's like, after I sprayed, white stuff came out? It's had, like, so she went, went to the bathroom and was like, oh, that worked. He got it. Yeah, it'd be great if she came back. He's like, what happened? She's like, I took a dump. <laughs> One of the best of my life. He's like, and brown stuff come out. <laughs> he's freezing to spray her ass. He's like, yeah. He's like, here's a, here's a baby wife. Uh, I don't know. I want to go to this church, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Just to be like, hey, man, uh, I don't know, my penis burns. I think a demon might have got in there when I was uh, swimming. I don't know. How does he know it's all out? Because the demon's tricky. Couldn't it pretend to be out, but really be Oh, you think he just takes some white stuff, throws it out, and he's like, all right, I'm I'm, going to hide in here for a while. Or the demon's eating yogurt like we have right here. That could be. (laughs) I'm worried that the demon's going to come back to her house, knock on the door. And she she can't resist. Clearly. She's weak. The glory goes to Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Another woman's healed. They put her panties up on the wall. (laughs) (laughs) You've seen a previous episode... I would sell those panties. <laughs> Demonic panty possession <laughs> could probably go for like five hundred dollars. I'd say like ten grand. Especially if you keep the white stuff in the panties. <laughs> and then you have this guy autograph them. <laughs> yeah, this is the demon, <laughs> the pan and demon, demon slayer. Uh, they should make movies about this sort of thing. Yeah, I'm. Uh, for all we know, there could be like a religious series where this guy's just going in battling sex demons. <laughs> He's like, Afterwards, I got to give you like a really thorough exam. To make sure that this demon's gone. Did you hear about there was a dude who, uh, I think he was a priest, and he was telling, like, men that he could suck, like, demons out, out of them. But I could, I could see how that could be true. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, like a... that seems more believable than this fucking guy spraying I... people with holy water. I guess, yeah, at least there is some sort of, like, action happening. Yeah. It's almost like he was macing the vagina. <laughs> Like, every time the thing reared its head, he was spraying it in the face. <laughs> like, this is almost like an episode of Sexual Cops. <laughs> like, something was coming out, and he was spraying it back yeah. in? What are these other fucking people thinking when they're watching this? They're just like, when's my turn? 
He's like, oh, thank God I didn't fuck that demon when it came to my house. It's like, my head's not going to punch itself. <laughs> Someone's gonna, this vagina's not going to kick itself. I like how he makes sounds that, like, the, <laughs> like, you know, like the punch isn't enough, but you need to punctuate it with I the like sound. the two mics. I like how there was somebody holding the woman, but there's also someone holding a microphone to the woman at all times. They spare no expense. Yeah, this is a high-quality <laughs> production. Also, there's a big, like, a jumbotron behind him. But they're in a tiny room. <laughs> so that people that just want to drink Kool-Aid and eat donuts can watch. <laughs> I would go. Would you? I'd go watch this live for sure. I, I would pay money to watch this <laughs> on a weekly basis. Yeah. I would ask, could I be the guy who holds the people while you exercise the <laughs> sexual demon? I mean, can I, can I, can I get a quick punch in? <laughs> I want to punch somebody's head. <laughs> I want to do some kicking around here. <laughs> you can do the noise. I'll do the hitting. <laughs> Why don't we just start our own? Of uh, we heal, heal people? Yeah. I'm game. Because this guy right here, this guy is not, uh, he's doing a disservice. Because I have to be honest with you folks, demon possession, sexual demon possession is a real deal. <laughs> and we've actually made a PSA about it that we want to show you right now. Let's take a look. Whoa, that doesn't look normal. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Having trouble urinating? Yeah, big time. That's because you're peeing for two. What? Oh, yeah, there's a demon in that penis. No! Oh! You need to set him free. Wow! You need to follow these simple steps, my friend. OK. Demonic genital possession, also known as DGP, is no laughing matter. We both had it. I had it in high school. And I had it when I was six. Good news is, though it's very, very painful, it's also highly treatable. Kids, make sure you know what to look out for. Here are the warning signs. Symptom number one, painful urination. Does it burn when you pee? That's because you're peeing for two. There's a demon in your wiener. Get that demon out of your wiener. Symptom two, genital burning. When your penis comes into contact with the Bible, sizzle, sizzle, demon. Symptom three, demon semen in your undies. Ew. <laughs> Doctors and pills won't cure this. Big Pharma doesn't even want you to know that it exists. They call vaginal possession things like UTIs. And anal possession, IBS, Crohn's, or ulcerative colitis. Big Pharma, more like Big Harma. But they were all cured using our one-of-a-kind demon extraction system. Uh, come on. Be God. Leave this man's genitals. Leave this man's genitals. Come on. Uh, oh, oh, no. Come on, demon. Uh, uh, oh, I can feel it coming out. Be God. It's coming out of my wiener. Come to the trap. It's coming out of my wiener. Come to the trap. Uh, beads can remove any demon from your sex organs. And the good news is when you're done, they can be used as jewelry, toys for your kids, anal beads. And the best cure of all is prevention. Here are ways how to prevent DGP. Don't try on swimsuits at the mall without underwear. Never use your genitals to open doors. ATMs, both the banking machines and the ass to mouth sex are a sure way to catch it. Using a haunted dildo or a secondhand dildo of someone who just passed away. Sleeping naked in a haunted hotel. Don't have sex with demons. And the biggest thing of all, spread awareness. Talk about this with your kids, your coworkers, and your religious leaders. And most importantly, use condoms. They'll protect you from those pesky STDs, sexually transmitted demons. Danish and O'Neill condoms do not prevent sexually transmitted diseases or pregnancy. This ad is brought to you by truth.org. That's truth with an E so we don't get sued. How informative was yeah, that? Yeah, man. That was amazing, yeah. So, don't listen to that guy. You listen to the Danish and O'Neills. We know better. We know how to rid those sexual demons. Let's, uh, let's move on to uh, this next guy is going to. I a few of those now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this next guy, is, uh, he's falling in love. Let's see, let's see this beautiful love story. This is TLC. 
My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a Chevy Lumina? Hey, baby. That moved fast. You're handsome man. <laughs> Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car. We that pause it for a second. Ch I find this hard to believe. There's people who aren't in love with their car that put the eyelashes on the headlights. <laughs> Why hasn't he done that? He, is, he likes her without the makeup. Or him, I don't know oh. what, what is, whether this is a man or a woman. I would paint a pair of jeans like over the trunk <laughs> and the rear wheels. Said he's in a committed relationship, so he's not seeing any other cars at the we, moment. How do we know this Lumina's not out there <laughs> fucking other cars? Poor it's, people. It started so normal with, hi, my name is Nathaniel, and then they went right into, <laughs> and I have sex with my car in my driveway. How old do you think that guy is? He could be anywhere from 22 to like 44. I think he said 28. He was 28? I okay. think so, yeah. Um, How's the car? Well, I don't know not be a shop, but that's an older Lumina. They haven't may made not Luminas be, in a while. May not be of age. <laughs> that's true. Let's see this How guy. How old is a car in car years? <laughs> 86. Is it like a cat? Let's see him kiss his, his car some Chase. more. Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Pause it. It was love at first sight. His body I've never wanted to see a car slip into together, neutral so bad in my fit. life. <laughs> just end this guy's life. <laughs> I think he would love it. He'd like, if anyone's going to kill me, I want it to be you. Chase, take me, Chase, please. <laughs> He's doing this in an, an open driveway. Imagine being his neighbors and you're like, dude, he's kissing the car again. Yeah, they're like, he's outside. Put the, bring the kids in. You can't have him watching this. Jesus. Look at him kiss that bumper. And all the flies and all the stuff that hits oh. that. Dude, he keeps Chase super clean. No, he doesn't. All right, let's continue <laughs> on with this. Oh, you think he's His body dirty? and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. <laughs> okay. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't Fuck find him. true love <laughs> until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here and <laughs> just kind of caress him down the side. Oh. My initial reaction was... Oh, wait, hold on. I thought I that was, was his shocked. mom. That's his roommate. <laughs> it was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. How cheap is her rent? To stay with this guy. You couldn't, like, ah. you couldn't pay me to live with this guy. Her friends are like, you got to move. And he's like, she's like, no, no, the rent's really cheap. It's great. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do. But I just absolutely love If I love lived Chase. in his neighborhood, I would crash into We always car have such a good time together. Driving. He likes a lot of the same music. Oh, I do. that's <laughs> so sexy. We have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ariel Speedwagon. I do get in gifts. How you buy something we for have a your favorite fiance song. or your wife. And then for his birthday, I try to do something special for him, too. How does he maintain that level of pervert mustache at all times? Oh, dude, you, you got to be born like that. <laughs> it, does, it just grows to that and it stops? Yeah. That's like standard <laughs> issue. This guy's got a problem mustache. <laughs> do you think he knows anyone else who is like him, who fucks their car? Like, does he have a fuck your car club that meets up? I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't think he knows anybody else, period. <laughs> it's his roommate and Chase yeah. and that's it? How did she agree to be on this video? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'd have them blur like... my face and do a voice alter. Yeah, yeah. If I lived in his neighborhood, I would just go up behind the car and like pelvic thrust it all the time. Be like, look at me and Chase. And then he's like, get the fuck away from my car. <laughs> Chase hates that, You're, it's against his will. I would egg his car all the time. <laughs> And then make them kiss it and get salmonella? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see them drive, listen to their favorite song. Try to do something special for him, too. <laughs> the favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Oh, oh man. We know what happens there. against him a little and just be with him mainly. Love you. <laughs> this looks like a But Nathaniel's a relationship with Chase goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. Does that feel good? Oh, it. Is that a class ring? <laughs> this guy's got no class, so I say no. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, uh. do little things like that. And uh, oh, just the sounds. And kind of press oh. up against him and just and rub against him like that. <laughs> Until I come in my pants. <laughs> One of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. <laughs> Wait, pause it right there. He really likes that. <laughs> One of his? Like, what's Nathaniel doing under the car? <laughs> I think if this car could talk, it would say, I fucking hate you. Stop kissing me, you creep. 
We, Look at this guy. We should save that cat that was in that toddler, that lady pretended to be a toddler, and save this car from these creeps. Yeah. So this guy goes under deep. So right now he's just jerking it under there? <laughs> like, what is uh, you would think that your penis in the gas or the muffler would be a position, but if I guess... If you have a real tiny penis, you could probably get it in the uh, oil, uh, you know, where they... Oh, the, they dip, the oil drain plug. They call that dipsticking. <laughs> is, that what it, is, that, is that the car fucking term? Yeah. Okay. I, I've known some car fuckers in my day. So this guy just thrusts. This is terrible because it's out in the open. Like, you can't bring this car inside the garage, make it somewhere a little more private. Yeah. Why does he have to subject everybody to Maybe it? his roommates, like, the garage is mine. Dude, how great it would it be if you lived in this neighborhood? Every time this guy was out there, I'd be like, fuck that car! And just drive by. <laughs> just cheering, fuck that <laughs> car. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> how great oh would it God. be to be a kid in this neighborhood? Oh, it's like a and dream just, come true. You just ride circles around his car on your bike while he fucks it? Yeah, your mom's like, where are you going? I'm going to Nathaniel's house, see if he's fucking that car again. <laughs> He doesn't stop. He's like, all right, be home by dinner. How bad? This guy's going to weep when this car can't run anymore. Here's the thing. Chevy Lumina it doesn't have tremendous reliability. This oh, thing's going to be a beast to keep on the road you in may want later to call. years. Yeah, I'll tell him. <laughs> like you should fall in love with a Honda or a Toyota, something a little more reliable. Does he get jealous? Well, he probably doesn't let anyone else watch it. They have people that no. don't understand and make fun of you. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely <laughs> lets anyone else that. drive him and never lets Chase out of Not his us. sight for more than 24 <laughs> hours. There have been times oh. it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work. Oh, yeah, why would on you? That's like someone so fucking his face all the time. <laughs> It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. If something were ever to happen to Chase, I, I, my heart would just stop. Wait, this guy has a job? Wait, pause <laughs> it right here. What, is, what kind of right job here. does this guy hold out? <laughs> Where they're like, hey, what's he doing? Oh, he went to the bathroom to chase again. I think he's life actually, would be. I think in, uh, in government. He's like, uh, he's a mayor. <laughs> he's a mayor of a town. <laughs> yeah, mayor car fucker. All right, let's uh, let's keep going with this and see where where this ends. <laughs> it doesn't Probably end well when he gets dinged or scratched. If something were to happen to Chase, I, I, my heart would just stop. I just have to gather myself here. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> I am concerned for Nathaniel emotion wise. I think life would be easier if he did change. Love you. Sounds like she wants Nathaniel's him. roommate Kim is one of the few people who know the full extent of his love life. I guess the reason And then all I the other people that watch this documentary. Yeah. I don't know the response I'm gonna get. I always worry about that. Wait, pause bit it for a second. Disgust that this guy doesn't know what response he's gonna get to this? I think it's pretty <laughs> Like, I don't think there's anybody that's like, oh, yeah, thumbs up, bro, good job. <laughs> Other than himself. Even his own roommates, like, dude. Yeah. The roommate, though, is very, like, low-key about it. She's like, I think he maybe could do with something weird. She's like, I used to live with the bridge fucker <laughs> until this is actually a step up. At least he can give me a ride somewhere. <laughs> what, well, opening the hood, though, wouldn't that be, like, a, that, that's more sexual, I would think. Yeah. It's like looking at the insides. But Nathaniel's biggest fear is how his relationship could affect his career as a customer service technician. <laughs> there you go. I mean, if everybody found out and would be worried that like it if might I were to go on a TV job, show. <laughs> but I love him to death. I, I wouldn't trade him for the world. Good night, baby. Oh. I love you. Oh, it's, the, it's the kissing sound. <laughs> disgusting. I've wow. never been, I've never seen a like, kissing and like the rubbing was also creepy. Well, the rubbing was more like uh <laughs> It was way more sexual than just rubbing. <laughs> uh, he's worried about people in the customer service industry finding out about this. Well, hey, just don't tell them on the fucking phone when they call. Well, he has to. He's like, by the way, oh, yeah. You, what am I doing later? I'll be having sex with a car. How about you? <laughs> you have a problem with your blender? Let me tell you about Chase, this car that I'm fucking. It's crazy. The good, do, you like, do you think he worries about Chase breaking up with him? He just goes out and the uh, car's gone. <laughs> the note. Dude, I would steal this car for sure. <laughs> then I'd bring it back all beat up. Like, what happened to Chase? I'd bring it back with my jizz all over the hood. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and under the hood. I would write fuck you and come all over. <laughs> Remember in Cape Fear when De Niro puts himself under the car with the belt? Yeah, it's what this guy's doing. That's what I would do. I'd be under there and be like, get out of here, Nathaniel. Oh, when he slides under, you're already under there. <laughs> He's like, what? What's going on? You're like, I'm fucking right now. Do you not see my sock on the, the mirror? I'm under here. Get the fuck. 
<laughs> Dude, that would be great to just hide under his car all day till he comes to fuck it. <laughs> he loves like, me. They're like, how did Nation O'Neill die? Well, they were hiding <laughs> under this car, and then it drove off and killed him. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a remake of Knight Rider in the making. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, uh, this is behind the scenes footage of Michael Knight and yeah. Kit. This was how their relationship really went down. All right. All so right. Where, where do you go from there? Yeah, let's move on here. Let's go to inventions, shall we? I think we have a picture of this. Yeah, don't be fooled. It's not a video. <laughs> How's that milk? Ooh, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. So this young lady is a true innovator here. Yeah, this is in England. Yeah, she's made uh, two different types of chairs. One is for a man and one is for a woman. The one on her left is for the man to prevent him from man spreading. Yeah, this is... Uh... <laughs> Look at the guy. He's like, I want to show my dick, but I can't. Here's my problem. So she said that she had an issue with guys always spreading their legs on the subway and crowding her space. The thing is, she doesn't have uh, balls. <laughs> These things need air. You can't cut circulation off. What if it's a long train ride? And by the way, is this such a problem that it, something needs to be invented to stop it? I don't ride, no. I don't do a lot of public transit, but I'm gonna say no. No, it is not at all. And so, so now this guy, by the way. But look this, at the woman flaunting it. She's like, I can spread as wide as yeah, I want. It's like in your face. Yeah, it's, this is how we're gonna get along, this sort of behavior. Why can't we all air out our genitals equally? Yeah. Like everybody can, can spread their legs. Maybe he has a demon in there and he's trying to let it out by spreading his legs. It's true, by keeping the demon in, you could do severe damage. Look how proud she is of herself right there. She's like, oh yeah, <laughs> I just cured cancer. <laughs> all the invention is, by the way, is just like restrictive. I read this, there was an article and it said like how how long this took to do and how many people were working on it. Yeah, well, maybe if you made the ass part not so <laughs> wide, you'd have just enough room for everybody. It looks like a chair for like the smallest, fattest person. <laughs> it's like low back and wide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all ass. Yeah. It looks like they're funneling it in something. Lady, you don't have balls. You don't know what's going on here. These things aren't great to walk around with. We need to end man spreading now. More inventions. Ben yeah, Franklin, well they said, was trying to stop it when he got struck by lightning with his kite. Man spreading? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't lightning. Man. That was God saying, you son of a bitch. Oh, really? Men have to spread their legs. Who are these people that are posing? They look like they're being against their will. That guy looks so uncomfortable right now. He's like, oh, I hope this, doesn't, this photo shoot doesn't take too long. He's sitting in I'm, a torture device. I'm crushing my dick right now. <laughs> he wants to spread. Like, not, like, there's a difference between, like, way wide. Like, you don't have to sit like this where you're, like, no, I know. flexing your knees together. Also, with this device, you're going to get a lot more guys reaching their hands into their pants to adjust themselves so that they can close their legs all the way. Well, I don't know about you, but my, my balls, they <laughs> sag down. <laughs> mine are above my belt line. Oh, so you're fine. Oh, yeah. I actually hang mine out the top of my jeans <laughs> so I don't crowd anybody. I don't know if it offends people doing it. I don't know if people go, are those your nutsack hanging out on the top? I'm like, yeah, I want to give you more room. <laughs> If I was subjected to this, I would go legs out like this at all times. Like, oh, you want them straight? Yeah, like this? <laughs> Either like that or just straight out like this. Like, walk, walk over my legs. Oh, you have to have some good core strength to hold that the whole time. Yeah, especially on a seat like this. Oh. I was rocking and rolling. You know, I, I usually don't sit when I ride the subway. I stand, but I stand like this. <laughs> I put my legs up way out. I actually lay down with my legs up above my head. <laughs> she saves a lot of space. I was on a subway in New York. I was with my beautiful girlfriend, Courtney, and my okay. baby, baby Barb. Yeah. And when Courtney would have the baby, like this, it would part like the Red Sea to let her sit down, like 50 people. Oh. I'm wearing the baby. Every woman on that subway, not one move. Even young women, they Everybody could easily stand. Just looking at me, and it's like, that's harder than being pregnant, because yeah. the baby's older. Heavier, I could hit her head on a pole. In their defense, you were breastfeeding or using that device I that was. we talked about last episode. Yeah, and that makes it harder to do. It does, it's true. You're Where are the inventions for that? That's true. Father carrying a baby. So I, I, I don't agree with this. Um, or if you want to do this, you should cut a hole in the bottom and put a fan that blows <laughs> up to kind of cool the product. I thought you were going to say that you could drape your dick and balls down through the hole. Even better idea. <laughs> we need to invent stuff yes. like this. <laughs>
<laughs> also, now she's taking up all, now she's airing out her vagina. It's, all, it's about revenge, and this shouldn't be about revenge. No. Let's all just sit like adults. I agree, 100%. Let's not do inventions <laughs> to spite people. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> I, all the men, they're like, look as sad as you can look. Like, you've done bad. It's like, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Congrats like to this, this inventor. I, yeah. I think she has a bright future. Why don't they just sell straps that you can tie your legs up? <laughs> like hog tie men when they go sit on the subway. <laughs> or leg shackles. Yeah. Like try People spread need... nose. Yeah. Try spreading your cheeks now. Why don't they let us wear mini skirts? Then we can't spread our legs at all. I would actually be down for that. I think we're allowed to wear mini skirts. Well, I know, but like where people aren't, where other guys aren't gonna be like, look at that idiot with mini skirt on, but we all wear them. You need to invent something. Yeah, or like a tube dress, like one of those tube dresses from the 80s. <laughs> I would wear that. In Mexico, because there is, uh, there's such a problem with sexual harassment on the train that they put Men that look like uh, they made like they, make, they made the chairs have a a, a, a penis on yeah. it's attached, and so they want men to sit on the penis and feel the discomfort. Yeah, and to remind you that you have a penis and that you should watch out for it. I guess because <laughs> I guess they all have demonic possession. Which seems like it's not going to solve anything. It's just going to be like, all right, I'll stand up. I would just be yeah. I'd be like, there's nowhere left to sit except all the penis chairs. <laughs> I guess I'll have to sit on one of those. And people are sucking them already, so I'm just gonna stand over here. <laughs> if you spread it, it makes it look like it's your penis. If you <laughs> manspread. They need to get this invention. Talk to this lady who's gonna be the future Bill Gates. I've, I, honestly, though, I've never had a problem with, like, man. I've, even if you're sitting next to another man, him spreading your legs and you're spreading, occasionally he you'll your, touch. Like, he grabs your legs with his hands. Yeah, wrap it on the, <laughs> wraps it around. He's like, here, open up a little bit. <laughs> You're too tight. You call that spreading? <laughs> you know, we should, we should invent a device that actually cranks your legs open as far as they'll go. You shove them in there. They call those the Van Dams. Oh, yeah. Claude Van Damme. <laughs> he should do the split on a train across all the seats. <laughs> Van Damme is definitely against this. Yeah, try to contain him, lady. Yeah. I want to start men spread trains only. That's true. With we seats that, every seat's like eight feet apart. <laughs> it fits five guys. Ready to move on? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go to a picture of a, of a young man. I think he got arrested. This is mugshot. Uh, this dude's 19 years old. Yeah. He literally got arrested for looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are you, Benjamin Buttons? Evidently, it's illegal to look 40 when you're 19, <laughs> wherever this guy got taken in. Dude, good luck going to prom with this look. They're like, sir, sir, you know, yeah, no 50-year-old yeah, yeah. men here. Like, if he goes to another school's prom, they're not allowing him in. I saw a picture when this guy was 13, and he looked actually older than this. I saw his little league, uh, they took picture, his little card, and he's, he was balding at 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> At least he can buy beer. <laughs> Jesus. God has cursed him with no hair here, but a vicious unibrow. Yes. <laughs> if he could just have that unibrow transplanted above his lip, he would have a full mustache. Speaking of creep stashes, he is rocking the creep yeah. stash hard. Unfortunately, just by looks alone, this guy has no other chance at life than to be a pedophile. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> he could be like an older man model. Older man model. <laughs> yeah, like a 60 plus. This guy. I feel terrible. I, and on top of it, now he's in jail. Yeah. It's, I, but they'll be like, oh, he's an OG. He's, he's 60 years old. <laughs> when he gets to prison? Yeah. Like, how, how many times have you been in here? He's like, I'm 19. Over like, your 44 years. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. At least you should just shave it on the sides. <laughs> the head or the, the eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> Everything, just shave, just shave the eyebrows and Man, everything. If my daughter brought this guy home as her boyfriend at 19, what if they're? What if his parents were both like models? Yeah, it is. This is Christy Brinkley and uh, the other model guy. <laughs> <laughs> the other model guy that you know. Yeah, this is Fabio's. Son. This is Tyson Beckford and uh, uh, yeah, some other Naomi model. Campbell. <laughs> their son. Can you imagine that? <laughs> their son is just like. I think this guy's American, but he looks like he's from like I don't know somewhere. Not. He looks like he could be like Borat's like nephew. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a Kazakhstan refugee. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That is quite the. I can't get over it. No, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's wild times. It is beautiful. I, I do feel bad for him. But I also don't know what he went to jail for. He could be a total piece of crap. No, I think it was just a drug charge, which makes me even sadder for well, him. Well, yeah, if you're the cops, you're like, I get why you're doing drugs. <laughs> Let this guy go. It's like, when did you start? When you were three? Because you're looking <laughs> a little rough. <laughs> this poor guy.
guy. So everybody out there, leave this guy alone. And if you're listening, if you're watching, sir, we'd love to have you in the live studio audience. Absolutely. Because we've treated you so well. <laughs> I would like to call him on the phone and talk to him. In prison? What if he has like a really high pitched voice? He's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's like reverse of what you expect? Yeah. That would be the ultimate curse. Ah, uh, well, uh, good luck to you in the future, sir. <laughs> good news is you can't look any older. <laughs> I think you it's can. all uphill from here. <laughs> All right, well, you got a special treat to wrap the show up. Yeah, here. as you guys all know, we like to introduce new comedians to the world. And, uh, and all we can get, though, well, not all we can get, but every week, everyone just says, we want more Feng Chao. Yeah, we don't want anything new. We want the old. Yeah. But there have been a lot of complaints because, as you also know, because you watch the show all the time, we, instead of having the comedians perform for the audience, we as the host always feel like we're getting gypped. So we have the comedian perform for us. But there's been a lot of backlash from that. So what we've done, we actually are going to spin him around so that everybody can enjoy his comedy stylings. So ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on one second, let me. All right. get, some, get some slack in that mic. <laughs> Here we go. Ryan, you and Jeff Dennis. Ryan is a punk. Jeff is a big guy. But they have a girlfriend. But I don't know if this is because of what. Jeff is a big guy. His girlfriend is also a big guy. It makes me feel like Ryan has no effect in this room. Ryan's father and mother are also pumped. They pumped for a day, they are also pumped. But they are still pumped. I don't know what's going on. Fuck you. Feng Chao is a good man, and also a very humorous man. Ryan and Jeff are both two people. I don't know what they are saying, but they are still pumped. Ha ha ha. 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 Ha ha This thing is not good. People are laughing for a long time. They see Ryan and Jeff are not good people. We're still laughing. Ha ha ha. 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 Ha ha ha.